Hello friends, welcome back to the series of lecture. This is the 20th lecture of this series of Indian Constitution. Now let's see Article 21. No person shall be deprived of his life and personal liberty except according to procedure established by law. Here the language is negative. They are saying no person shall be deprived. Language negative means it is a restrictive language. Now they are not saying that who shall deprive. Now SAE to like sakte the state shall not deprive. The state shall not deprive of his life and personal liberty. A person of the state shall not deprive a person from his life and personal liberty. But that they are not writing. They are simply saying no person shall be deprived. So the first point comes out that Article 21 state pe lagega ya private persons pe bhi lagega. So apply on state and private individuals also. See the language again. No person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to procedure established by law. So the first thing comes out is the language is negative that is restrictive plus it is not clear as to upon whom this section applies. They are not saying the state shall not deprive and therefore the question is whether the article 21 applies against the individuals also or only against the state. Now this ka jo answer hoga primarily to ye article state pa hi lagega. Primarily this article will apply upon a state only but it is not that the individuals do not fall into the ambit. Actually the state has to ensure that the state shall has to ensure that the state itself cannot deprive a person from his life and personal liberty plus there are so many circumstances existing in the society because of which there is an automatic deprivation. You talk about backwardness. Jab hum social justice ki baat kar rahe hain, yaha ki baat kar rahe You talk about backwardness, you talk about vulnerability. There are so many classes in the society or groups in the society which because of the circumstances per se they deprived of their dignified life and personal liberty. So state is in the duty to remove those circumstances also. So ऐसा नहीं है कि सिर्फ state को ये mandate है कि आप deprive नहीं करोगे directly. आप खुद तो deprive नहीं करोगे plus जितनी भी परिस्थितियाँ हैं circumstances which may result into automatic deprivation of life and personal liberty. You talk about social injustices. We have seen in Article 14 the same thing is here also. Same thing falls here also. It is a group which is vulnerable. Talk about women. A woman not getting the protection from the state. And they are vulnerable class. And they may be, they are certainly be deprived of their dignity of life. Women not being able to go out in the evening and so and so forth. And that is where the state has the positive duty to remove those circumstances. So as to avoid any deprivation of the dignity of life of the women or children or any other vulnerable classes. So this is the concept of social justice or this is the concept of upliftment is also implicit in article 21. It is not only in article 14. There are certain circumstances which result into deprivation of life and personal liberty of the individuals. You talk about the educational backwardness. There are so many places and areas in India, various states and districts where educational facilities is not as good. Now the state has the duty to provide the educational facilities to them because that amounts the social injustice to the people there and therefore they are being deprived of their life and personal liberty. Education is a part of life, dignified life. And therefore, in order to avoid that, the state has state has to take positive action to provide the proper education to the people there. Means whatever you, you had seen in the article 14, that will fall under article 21 also. The article applies upon the state primarily, but it is not that the individuals will therefore be allowed to deprive from life and personal liberty. The state has to make sure that the individuals also do not deprive a person of his life and personal liberty. So write down article 21 is in a negative language. 
आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन इज इन ए नेगेटिव लैंग्वेज एंड पुट्स ए रेस्ट्रिक्शन अगेंस्ट द प्राइवेशन ऑफ लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी बट इट इज नॉट क्लियर एज टू वेदर इट इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली अपॉन स्टेट और ऑल्सो अपॉन प्राइवेट इंडिविजुअल्स प्राइमरली द आर्टिकल अप्लाइज अपॉन द स्टेट ओनली दैट इज द स्टेट कैन नॉट डायरेक्टली थ्रू इट्स एग्जीक्यूटिव और लेजिस्लेटिव एक्शन डिप्राइव ए पर्सन ऑफ हिज लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी हाउ एवर द स्टेट ऑल्सो हैज टू एंश्योर दैट द सरकम स्टेंसिस विच रिजल्ट इन टू एन ऑटोमेटिक डिप्राइवेशन ऑफ लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी सेल बी रिमूव एंड ऑल्सो दैट द एक्शन ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स एंड ग्रुप्स शुड नॉट रिजल्ट इन टू एनी सच डिप्राइवेशन इट इज हियर दैट द पॉजिटिव रोल ऑफ स्टेट इज स्टिपलेटेड under article 21 the duty to do social justice and to take protective protective action so as to avoid the circumstances of deprivation lies upon the state and it is implicit in article 21 also moreover the state has to make laws to prevent individuals from depriving a person from his life and personal liberty so hope you have understood this jo abhi aapko bataya that is a huge point and you will not get this point uh, normally in to the test books very easily what i have told you is we are being talking about article 14 and we are talking about social justice and i have just told you ke article 21 mein you have got social justice article 21 also has social justice implicit within how i will tell you since article 21 talks about restriction of deprivation of life and personal liberty and when you talk about life life has to be dignified life life cannot be a vegetative life vegetative matlab sirf zinda rehna thas dena it is dignified life and if it is dignified life anything which goes along with the dignity of life that will fall under article 21 now what i was telling you is you talk about for example talk about old aged person senior citizen now you old age person because of the circumstances old age they are deprived of good health they are deprived of their physical capacity automatically they cannot do physical hard work and so and so forth we are talking about the majority we cannot expect them to stand in the buses for a long distance and so and and so forth so he needs a special reservation of seats in trains buses etc he needs a special reservation in tickets in trains etc ab inke liye agar aap special treatment special act nahi doge then it is automatically the deprivation of their life and personal liberty it automatically re- results into the deprivation of life and personal liberty of such class and therefore it is duty upon the state that it shall take positive action that positive action you talk about social justice in article 14 that is fine that we talk about in article 21 also so jis social justice ke positive action ke baad hum article 14 mein karte hain usi ke bare mein hum article 21 mein bhi karte hain and that is where the vitality of indian constitution lies ki aap ek concept ko ek article pe limit nahi karoge you will be reading the same concept in some other article also and that is what i told you in the beginning that this principles of social justice rule of law equity natural justice they are cutting across the various articles and they are intertwined matlab ek dusre mein uljhe hue and that is where you cannot dis- differentiate ki kis article mein kaun sa akela concept hai normally you will find the concept cutting across all those provisions then 
as far as individual is con individuals is concerned i told you individuals ke upar article 21 as such nahi lagaoge lekin state ke upar to lagega now state ko ye dekhna hai ki state khud matlab state ke agencies the executive the legislature they do not deprive a person or a group from their life or personal liberty at the same time it also has to ensure that the individuals they also do not deprive the others of their life and personal liberty and for that purpose state has to make laws to prevent any such deprivation jaise un untouchability abolition of untouchability and so and so forth now ye laws these laws are applicable upon whom upon the individuals and the individuals thereby bound not to do that act individuals are thereby bound not to do that act else they were be punished executed and punished why why because that would result into the deprivation of life and personal liberty of some other person and also result into an unequal treatment of some other person so there these laws will help the state to prevent the individuals from doing those violations and number 3 state also has to take positive action so that to remove those circumstances which may per se result into a deprivation to ye teen cheeze state ke upar hai ek to khud violation nahi karega dusra kisi individual ko violate nahi karne dega aur teesra state will take positive action to remove the deprivation wale circumstances that is where i told you the proactive role of the state or the social justice aspect of the state is implicit in article 21 ab jaise aapka wo case tha visakha versus state of rajasthan it is related to sexual harassment protecting the women at workplaces from sexual harassment what is that this could be done under article 14 also women are uh, vulnerable class the state can always make special laws to protect the women jaise ipc mein stalking wagering or ye sare special laws banaye what is that special protection protection of women from sexual harassment at workplaces law banaye iske liye special that is special protection given to women so if you do that that is fall under article 14 itself but that will also fall under article 21 now visakha versus state of rajasthan is a judgment on article 21 not on 14 but 14 mein bhi ho sakta tha same judgment the women at workplaces needs that extra protection to avoid any sexual harassment now uske liye law banaye so you identified the women a vulnerable class and supreme court comes up with a guidelines as these are the guidelines which need to be followed and later on law has been passed seeing those guidelines on the basis of those guidelines so that is for what that is for the social justice of women usi prakar se aap dekhoge bahut sare supreme court ke judgments hain they all are somewhere related to social justice to particular vulnerable class to a particular vulnerable vulnerable class usi prakar se jaise ye rozgar yojana manrega ye sab chala rakhi hai wo sab aap article 14 mein samjho ya 21 mein samjho but what is the purpose of these yojanas the larger purpose is fraternity jo economically poorer classes hai deprived classes hai unko agar aap ye confidence nahi doge कि इंडिया में उनको भी उतना ही राइट्स मिलेगा वो भी ऊपर उठेंगे उनको अगर आप ये कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं दोगे कि उनके पास भी लीगल राइट्स हैं एंड दो राइट्स विल बी प्रोटेक्टेड इकोनॉमिक राइट्स आर देयर विच विल बी प्रोटेक्टेड एंड इंसेंटिव विल बी गिवन टू देम देन हाउ विल यू डेवलप द फर्टर्निटी बिकॉज दे विल ऑलवेज हैव ए काइंड ऑफ एपथी टूवर्ड्स द राइट ऑफ द सोसाइटी इन ऑर्डर टू ब्रिंग डेम up and in order to in order to develop the feeling of fraternity in them you have to do something for them and moreover 
otherwise also from the perspective of social justice it is essential that they should be supported by state social socio economic justice also required that ab usko aap article 14 mein maan lo ya fir article 21 mein maan lo ab agar aap 21 mein mante ho that will be preventing the deprivation of a dignified life aur 14 mein manoge to social justice aur upliftment in either ways it may fall under 14 or 21 isliye you will find that many of these judgments are overlapping between 14 and 21 so that is the first point and i hope that is clear to you ab isi se ek dusra point nikalta hai before getting 21 we discuss it are the various fundamental rights are mutually exclusive are the various fundamental rights are mutually exclusive kyunki ye topic abhi pad rahe the usi se relate karte hain kya aap keh sakte ho waise isko pehle bhi discuss kar chuke hain kya aap keh sakte ho ki fundamental rights are mutually exclusive the answer is no why because abhi abhi dekha aapne ek example 21 and 14 they overlap and the moment elements of basic structure you find then you find that they are overlapping they are overarching principles they are cut off, cutting across each other various provisions then how can be the various fundamental rights be mutually exclusive pehle supreme court ne ek ek gopalan ke case mein kaha tha that they are mutually exclusive if the particular fundamental right is violated then the examination of that fundamental right mutually be done but later on in the khadak singh case supreme court held that though they are mutually exclusive but there is a larger common purpose of all the fundamental rights and to that extent they are overlapping and last me case of nand bharti ka judgment aaya jisme unhone overarching principles ki baat ki and then we got the menka gandhi judgment where the supreme court clearly held that the fundamental rights are not mutually exclusive and the violation of one may result into the violation of other write down ak gopalan versus state of maharashtra 1950 supreme court it is six it was six by judges bench and judgment delivered by the kaniya justice in this uh, the main point of our main is uh, held that various fundamental rights are mutually exclusive and the violation of one will not result into the violation of the other so judgment tha kafi bada tha but hamare kaam ka yahi ek point tha point hai for this topic write down the second case khadak singh versus state of up 1963 supreme court and it is it was six judges bench judgment delivered by ayangar justice a y y a n j g a r ayangar justice it was held that though the fundamental rights are independent to each other the larger purpose of fundamental right is the same and the violation of one may affect the other now is may be total mutual exclusivity nahi bola inhone more or less in this also they are on the same line of ek gopalan accepting that they have ex- accepted that kyunki larger purpose same hai ek ke violation par shayad dusra effect ho sakta hai so write down menga gandhi versus union of india 1978 supreme court it was held that the fundamental rights are not mutually exclusive and the violation of one may result into violation of the other the judgment in this case was based upon the concept of overarching principles as given in the case of nand bharti case now it was clear that there are certain overarching principles which cut across it which cut across the various fundamental rights and the dpsp and they are intertwined or interconnected 
विद ईच अदर एंड दस इफ वन फंडामेंटल राइट इज वायलेटेड दैट विल ऑटोमेटिकली रिजल्ट इन टू द वायलेशन ऑफ द अदर फंडामेंटल राइट सो जो केशव नंद भारती केस में बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर का कॉन्सेप्ट दिया है दैट क्रिएट ए कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव टाइप ऑफ कैरेक्टर टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पहले आप फंडामेंटल राइट को आइसोलेशन में एक फंडामेंटल राइट दूसरा फंडामेंटल राइट जैसे नॉर्मल स्टेट्यूट का इंटरप्रिटेशन करते थे उस तरीके से करते थे बट नाउ यू फाइंड दैट दीज फंडामेंटल राइट आर नॉट सेपरेट एंड दीज ऑल फंडामेंटल राइट ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम वन कॉमन थिंग एंड दे आर ऑल एम डेट वन कॉमन गोल डी पी एस पी एंड फंडामेंटल राइट ऑल ऑफ देम एंड यू ऑल्सो फाइंड दैट देर आर सर्टेन इनहेरेंट प्रिंसिपल विच आर नॉट एक्सप्रेसली डिक्लेयर एंड दीज इनहेरेंट प्रिंसिपल आर interconnecting with various provisions interconnecting these various provisions and these are what are called overarching principles social justice equality all that ab ye jo principles hain ye har article ko jodte hain pure constitution ko ek tarike se majbooti dete hain ab jaise hum makan banate hain waise to pillar dal kar aur after filling the neem base makan ban sakta hai to usme alag alag pillar but agar humko आर्थिक रेजिस्टेंस बनाना है तो देन वी हैव टू एंश्योर दैट दीज प्लस आर आल्सो इंटरकनेक्टेड विद ईच अदर बाय द बीम कनेक्टिंग बीम जो कि एट वेरियस लेवल्स इट वुड कनेक्ट ऑल दीज प्लस जिससे अगर कोई भूकंप वगैरह आए तो एक प्लर गिरे तो दूसरे प्लर का फोर्स उसको संभाल ले सो इन दैट वे यू कनेक्ट द एंटायर बिल्डिंग इन सो दैट Okay, if that uh, would be any such kind of situation, then the whole building would not broke. Uh, because of these connections, they are interconnected. The building will become more strong. Similarly, in the constitution, earlier we had these fundamental rights in isolation, but since you had got these connections, and these connections are of various principles. like in building the earthquake resistance character have by the connecting beam similarly these connections in the constitutions of basic principles are forming providing the comprehensive character and vitality to the constitution under the various fundamental rights that is what is the specialty of the constitution indian constitution aur usi baat ko kesav nand bharti mein humne bataya और उसके बाद के जो हमारे इंटरप्रिटेशन हैं कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में दैट इज डिफरेंट एज इन द मैन का गांधी वी हेल्ड दैट वेरियस फंडामेंटल राइट्स आर नॉट म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव अब ये कहाँ से आया दैट कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम द केस ऑन भारती केस ऑन दी अब नाउ अवर इंटरप्रिटेशन हैज दिस दिस एंटायर प्रोसेस स्टार्टेड अर्लियर ओनली फ्रॉम दैट केस आर सी कूपर वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया 1970 उसी समय से ये चेंजेस आना शुरू हो गया था सो दैट वाज द केस ऑफ आर सी कूपर सी डबल ओ पी आर वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया 1970 सुप्रीम कोर्ट देन माधवराव सिंधिया वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया 1971 सुप्रीम कोर्ट सो दीज आर सम जजमेंट्स इंपॉर्टेंट जजमेंट्स दीज जजमेंट्स आल्सो हाईलाइटेड सर्टेन थिंग्स ये वैसे इस तरह के टॉपिक से रिलेटेड नहीं थे दे वर रिलेटेड टू कम्पनसेशन इफ यू आर एक्वायरिंग प्रॉपर्टी then you have to give just compensation and the answer was the rule of equity and natural justice will prevail and therefore whosoever property were acquiring you have to give just compensation you have to give him a just compensation so that judgment was a big judgment on the essence of the constitution that was a trend towards the kesav nand bharti and finally there are kesav nand bharti menka gandhi and so many other judgments so have you understood two points the article 21 so you have understood two points article 21 is not directly address upon the state but it has to be seen address upon the state and the state has three duties that in no circumstances do not violate the life and personal liberty directly and do not let any individual that deprivation in the normal circumstances the state cannot deprive any persons life and personal liberty then also take the proactive rule ye to pehla tha then dusra that the various fundamental rights are not mutually exclusive 
and why they are not mutually exclusive that we have understood we have talked about the case of nand bharti basic structure and also that social justice etc are implicit not in article 14 you have to find that also in article 21 read again article 21 no person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to procedure established by law no person shall be deprived of his life and personal liberty except according to procedure established by law life and personal liberty to ho gaya ab you talk about this except according to procedure established by law means what they are declaring your fundamental right life and personal and liberty cannot be violated but at the same time you also declaring that the right is not absolute so life and personal liberty may be restricted in required cer- certain circumstances but that restriction has to be done only by the procedure established by the law jab ye kehte hain procedure established by law what do you mean by procedure established by law so means what can it be any or every kind of procedure which is made by law and you can be deprived of your life and personal liberty no it has to be fair and just procedure मतलब द पॉइंट इज अगर आपको ये लगता है कि कोई ऐसा लॉ है जो कि विच इज डेरोगेटिंग अपॉन द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स लाइक नॉन आर्बिट्रेरीनेस रीजनेबलनेस नेचुरल जस्टिस एक्सेट्रा दीज आर द एसेंशियल फीचर्स ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो यू कैन नॉट डेरोगेट अपॉन दीज प्रिंसिपल्स वंस यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट ऑब्वियसली दीज प्रिंसिपल्स रनिंग एंड ओवर आर्चिंग प्रिंसिपल्स of crossing all articles at here also therefore reasonableness fairness justice non arbitrariness cutting across article 21 also so when you say except in accordance with procedure established by law so the question as to can it be any and every kind of procedure or does the procedure has to subscribe certain requirements obviously they have to sus- subscribe the to the spirit of the constitution and the spirit of the constitution is what that there cannot be any arbitrary powers there cannot be any unreasonable or unjust kind of action that is the essential spirit of all the articles similarly article 21 so this procedure should be just fair and reasonable procedure now for example we talk about the crpc crpc talk about the proceedings related to crime now kisi ko usme arrest karoge to 24 ghante ke andar magistrate ke samne produce karoge trial agar hoga to trial mein the opposite party have the right to cross examination and so and many thing so many other things in the crpc so what is all that that is all related to life and personal liberty of a person you can deprive the life and personal liberty of a person when you arrest him and not produce before the magistrate after 24 hours within 24 hours then when he is in judicial custody the requirements of bail the requirement of informing his friends or relatives the requirement of producing him within 24 hours before the magistrate the requirements of medical examination and so and and so forth all those measures are what all those measures are reasonableness reasonable procedure established by law so basically this point was there in in menka gandhi judgment again write down the case menka gandhi versus union of india 1978 supreme court now isme kya tha menka gandhi had some had some corruption charges against her दूसरे गवर्नमेंट ने उसके ऊपर डाल रखा था एंड द प्रोसिक्यूशन वाज गोइंग ऑन इन दैट केस एंड हर पासपोर्ट वाज इम्पाउंडेड सीज्ड एंड सी वांटेड टू गो अब्रॉड टू विजिट सम कंट्री एंड हर पासपोर्ट वाज सीज्ड विदाउट गिविंग हर एनी अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डिफेंड हर केस पासपोर्ट एक्ट के अंदर उसका पासपोर्ट सीज कर लिया गया था और सीज करने के समय उनको कोई अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं दिया गया था 
रीजनेबल अपॉर्चुनिटी कोई भी नहीं दी गई टू डिफेंड द केस एज वाई हर पासपोर्ट इज नॉट टू बी सीज एंड देयर द पॉइंट वॉज दैट द पासपोर्ट एक्ट हैज द प्रोविजन बाई विच द पासपोर्ट कैन बी टेकन सो देयर इज ए प्रोसीजर ऑफ ए प्राइवेशन ऑफ योर पासपोर्ट अंडर द इंडियन पासपोर्ट एक्ट एंड एज पर दैट प्रोसीड्योर हर पासपोर्ट वर टेकन अवे फ्रॉम हर द क्वेश्चन इन दैट केस वॉज रेव इन दिस केस रेव वॉज दैट यू डिप्राइव मी फ्रॉम माई लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी एंड हेयर इज द पर्सनल लिबर्टी टू गो एब्रॉड सी वॉन्टेड टू गो एब्रॉड अब हर लाइफ एंड राइट टू लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी इज डिप्राइव ऑफ Since you deprive me from my life and personal liberty without giving me any reasonable opportunity, वो आपका जो audio ultram partum, audio ultram partum is providing the reasonable opportunity of hearing. मतलब आपको दोनों parties को hear करना पड़ेगा और यहाँ पे आपने उसको बिना कोई मौका दिए आपने passport act में उसका passport impound कर लिया था and by that time आपका judgment of case of Nand Bharti was already there. and therefore the court has the basic principle with it that the essential spirit of the constitution cannot be taken away and since the natural justice is the part of the essential spirit of the indian constitution so aap natural justice ka violation nahi kar sakte and therefore the court in this case held that it is not only the procedure established by law it does not means any or every kind of procedure it has to be a just fair and reasonable and non arbitrary procedure it has to be just fair and reasonable procedure which provides for non arbitrary action so ye jo char shabd hain just fair reasonable and non arbitrary that was read by the court in the word procedure in article 21 so write down it was held in this case that any kind of action by state has to be just fair reasonable and non arbitrary the word procedure used in article 21 cannot be any kind of procedure rather it has to be just fair reasonable and non arbitrary procedure अब ये वाला जो है आपका इसमें जो सवाल आएगा एग्जाम में दैट विल बी डिफरेंट अब इसको समझाने के लिए यू कैन राइट सो मेनी थिंग्स ये तो बहुत शॉर्ट में लिखा है बट यू कैन ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट द केस ऑफ नंद भारती केस दैट केस ऑफ नंद भारती केस गिव द ओवर आर्चिंग प्रिंसिपल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑल दैट सो आफ्टर राइटिंग ऑल दैट उसके बेसिस पर मैन का कहानी में दिस वॉज हेल्ड उसके बेसिस पर मैन का कहानी केस में ये हेल्ड हुआ था तो इस तरीके से आंसर राइटिंग लिख सकते हो आप बढ़ा सकते हो अगर ज्यादा मार्क्स में आए सो दिस सब टॉपिक एंड शेयर नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय ड्यू प्रोसेस जो ये अभी टॉपिक पढ़ा था हमने प्रोसीजर एस्टेब्लिश्ड बाय लॉ दैट इज ड्यू प्रोसेस ओनली आई हैव टू री एक्सप्लेन इट अदरवाइज दिस टॉपिक इज ओवर so due process means the procedure has to be transparent there has to be an accountability for example aap kisi ko giraftar karte ho to giraftari ka process should be transparent it is accountable towards the family and relatives of the person whom you have arrested your arrest procedure should be just fair and reasonable it should not be arbitrary means procedure should be non arbitrary write down Krishna Iyer Justice K R I S H N A I Y E R Krishna Iyer Justice in Sunil Batra versus Delhi Administration and judgment is of 1979 Supreme Court 1979 Supreme Court delivered by V Krishna Iyer Justice V Krishna Iyer Justice write down true T R U E true our constitution does not have any due process clause as in the 8th amendment of the american constitution as in the 8th amendment of the american constitution so it was and uh, it is true that our constitution does not have due process 
क्लॉज एज इन द जैसा कि एट अमेंडमेंट में इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में हुआ था वो डाला गया था बट विद द आरसी कूपर जो जजमेंट था उसमें भी यही पॉइंट था बट विद द आरसी कूपर एंड द मेन का गांधी जजमेंट द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस आर द सेम सो दिस इज देंटेंस दे ऑफन कोट यू इन द एग्जाम यूपी और उत्तराखंड में खास करके पूछ सकते हैं आई एस में भी पूछ सकते हैं अब क्या कह रहे हैं यहाँ पे ट्रू अवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डज नॉट है अब पहले तो ड्यू प्रोसेस समझो ड्यू प्रोसेस है क्या इन द यूएस एक्चुअली इन यूएस बाय द एट अमेंडमेंट यू हैव एडेड द वर्ड ड्यू प्रोसेस हमने डिप्राइवेशन के आगे लिख दिया था ड्यू प्रोसेस प्रोसीड्योर कैसा होगा इट हैज टू बी ड्यू प्रोसेस ड्यू प्रोसेस मीन्स वॉट एनी काइंड ऑफ डिप्राइवेशन ऑफ द लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी दैट द स्टेट डज इट हैज टू बी ओनली बाई ए फेयर रीजनेबल नॉन आर्बिट्रेरी नॉन आर्बिट्रेरी प्रोसीड्योर एस्टेब्लिश बाई लॉ सो बाई यूजिंग द वर्ड ड्यू प्रोसेस दे पुट ऑल दीज एलिमेंट्स इन टू डिप्राइवेशन इतना डिटेल नहीं लिखा है वहां पर सिर्फ ड्यू प्रोसेस लिखा है प्रोसेस मीन्स वॉट प्रोसेस ऑफ डिप्राइवेशन ड्यू मीन्स रीजनेबल तो जब भी आप किसी व्यक्ति को उसके लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी से डिप्राइव करोगे then that has to be only by fair, reasonable and non-arbitrary procedure. अब in the Indian Constitution when we are framing the Indian Constitution, this point was put before the framers as not why not write the word due process as you have in the American Constitution and the framers of the Constitution. रिफ्यूज टू एड द वर्ड ड्यू प्रोसेस उन्होंने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बनाते समय ड्यू प्रोसेस लिखने से मना कर दिया क्यों इट वॉज अवर एक्सपीरियंस सजेस्टेड सजेस्टेड वर्ड इट वॉज एक्सपीरियंस सजेस्टेड वॉज अमेरिका में ड्यू प्रोसेस वर्ड दे हैड गिवेन ए लॉट ऑफ स्कोप टू द जुडिशियल जुडिशियरी टू इंटरवीन एंड द अमेरिकन सुप्रीम कोर्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द वाइड एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ ड्यू प्रोसेस हैड एक्वायर्ड सम काइंड ऑफ सुपीरियर पावर्स ऑफ अबाउ द लेजिस्लेचर एंड एग्जीक्यूटिव बिकॉज इन एवरी केस दे आर इंटरफियरिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द ड्यू प्रोसेस ऑन द ग्राउंड ऑफ ड्यू प्रोसेस एंड दे राइज अबाउ द लेजिस्लेचर एंड एग्जीक्यूटिव अब इंडिया में मैं भी यू वॉन्टेड टू क्रिएट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जुडिशियरी एट द पार ऑफ एग्जीक्यूटिव एंड लेजिस्लेचर सो वी सेड दैट इंडिया में हम ड्यू प्रोसेस शब्द का इस्तेमाल नहीं करेंगे अदरवाइज इन इंडिया ऑल्सो द इंडियन जुडिशियरी द इंडियन सुप्रीम कोर्ट विल राइज अबाउ द अदर ऑर्गन लेजिस्लेचर एग्जीक्यूटिव एक्सेट्रा बट नाउ वॉट वी हैव डन इज आफ्टर मैन का गांधी जजमेंट We are doing the same thing. हमने ड्यू प्रोसेस शब्द नहीं लिखा है अदरवाइज वी आर रीडिंग द सेम थिंग बट वी आर रीडिंग रीजनेबल नॉन आर्बिट्रेरी जस्ट एंड फेयर प्रोसीड्योर बट सिंस यू आर नॉट एडिंग अ वे काइंड ऑफ वर्ड ड्यू प्रोसेस लाइक ड्यू प्रोसेस द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इट सेल्फ हैज इंटरप्रेटेड द वर्ड प्रोसीड्योर टू बी इंक्लूडिंग Reasonable, just, fair, etc. We are not adding due process through legislative amendment. अगर due process शब्द add कर दोगे then that will give a scope of very wide interpretation. But since we are using the word Supreme Court itself using the word just, fair, reasonable, non-arbitrary procedure, so India में due process आ तो गया by this judgment, by this judgment. Because that is what meant by the due process. But in India, the scope for unlimited power to judiciary is not there. Because in India, we are not using the word due process as such. Rather, we are using the exact words and that too through the Supreme Court judgments. The word like reasonable, non-arbitrary, etc. So, unka interpretation limited hoga. and indian supreme court cannot rise above the other organs as the american supreme court has 
done. So what we have refused at the time of making the Indian constitution, now indirectly, now indirectly you have read into the constitution and that is obviously in the light of the essential spirit of the constitution. This is the exam mein. कि due process आपने पहले तो include नहीं किया मना कर दिया लेकिन इन judgments के बाद due clause process जो due process clause आ तो गया obviously आ तो गया but not in the same meaning and content as in the American Constitution there we had given a very wide interpretation there we have given a very wide interpretation everywhere we have a scope of judiciary India may be we are giving wide interpretation, no doubts. India may be judicial activism as a concept. Fair be Indian judiciary cannot rise above the other organs as the American judiciary as the power. So write down due process means a fair, just and reasonable procedure. There cannot be any arbitrary procedural violation violations or action in every state action जो भी state के action होंगे in that there should there cannot be any arbitrary action or violations there has to be some basic safeguards which have to be followed in American constitution there has to be some basic safeguards which have to follow in American constitution. It was by 8th amendment that the due process clause was added. added. So, put a comma here. There has to be some safeguards which has to be followed in the state actions. There has to be some basic safeguards which has to be followed in American constitution. Next sentence. In American Constitution, it was the by the Eighth Amendment that the due process clause was added. However, since the exact meaning of due process was not provided as the American Supreme Court gave it extremely wide interpretation and some what acquired a position superior to itself as compared of executive and legislature ye bata hi chuka hu humko main aapko that ke exact meaning jo due process ki america mein hai that is not provided in indian constitution because in that by the word due process the supreme court american supreme court acquired some of superior position to itself compared to executive and legislature at the time of framing of the indian constitution we rejected the suggestions to add the clause due process under article 21 fearing that the indian supreme court also may thereby take a superior position as american supreme court however after the kesavanand bharti judgment and particularly with the menka gandhi judgment the same concept of due process in the form of reasonable, reasonableness, natural justice, fairness and non-arbitrariness has got into the Indian constitution under article 21. However, since these concepts have been brought in, have been brought in through judicial interpretation, and the word due process as such has not been added there. There is no ambiguity or vagueness about the concept and it can be interpreted and applied in a restricted manner within the broad spirit of Indian constitution. The concept of Natural justice, reasonableness, fairness, and non arbitrariness, non arbitrary actions will be essential principles governing the Indian due process. 
मतलब इंडिया में वी गॉट दीज फोर प्रिंसिपल्स सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी ड्यू प्रोसेस वर्ड का इस्तेमाल नहीं किया है कि हम इंडिया में ड्यू प्रोसेस लगा रहे हैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने सीधा कहा है कि प्रोसीड्यूर जिसके बेसिस पर आप किसी के लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी को डिप्राइव करते हो दैट प्रोसीड्यूर हैज टू बी फेयर जस्ट नॉन आर्बिट्रेरी एंड रीजनेबल आपको दोनों पार्टियों को सुनना पड़ेगा जिसको डिप्राइव कर रहे हो उसको नेचुरल जस्टिस देना पड़ेगा अब उस मेनका गांधी केस में इनफैक्ट पासपोर्ट तो उन्होंने इम्पाउंड किया बट बाय द टाइम सुप्रीम कोर्ट वॉज हियरिंग द केस दे हैड फाइल्ड एन एफिडेविट इन द कोर्ट गवर्नमेंट ने एफिडेविट फाइल किया था कि हमने मेनका गांधी को प्रॉपर हियरिंग दे दिया है देयर फोर क्योंकि इस केस में मेनका गांधी को प्रॉपर हियरिंग मिल गया था तो केस में आगे जजमेंट की जरूरत नहीं थी बिकॉज द रेमेडी वॉज डन बट स्टिल दैट वॉज सच ए मेजर इशू दैट द कोर्ट कम्स हैड टू डिसाइड द केस ऑन द पॉइंट ऑफ प्रोसीड्यूर प्रोसीजरल फेयरनेस प्रोसीजरल फेयरनेस सो दैट इज ऑल तो इसमें आपके तीन टॉपिक्स तो हो गए वन वॉज वेदर द स्टेट और इंडिविजुअल्स दूसरा वेदर द फंडामेंटल राइट आर म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव और तीसरा द वर्ड प्रोसीड्यूर स्टैब्लिश बाई लॉ एज टू बी रीजनेबल फेयर जस्ट एंड नॉन आर्बिट्रेरी प्रोसीड्योर नाउ वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी नो पर्सन हेल्प बी डिप्राइव ऑफ लाइफ और पर्सनल लिबर्टी दे आर नॉट सेंग राइट टू लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी ध्यान से पढ़ना ट्वेंटी वन दे आर नॉट सेंग राइट टू लाइफ और पर्सनल लिबर्टी दे आर सिंपली सेंग नो पर्सन हेल्प बी डिप्राइव ऑफ हिज लाइफ और पर्सनल लिबर्टी दे आर नॉट सेंग नो पर्सन हेल्प बी डिप्राइव ऑफ हिज राइट टू लाइफ और पर्सनल लिबर्टी नाउ द क्वेश्चन है रोज Why are not they using the word right? अब इन्होंने right नहीं लिखा Let's see an example. We are human being, and since we are there, तो life तो हो गई हम हैं तो life है तो हमको अलग से ये right अलग से तो confirm नहीं कर रहे I am living, I am living because of the life. Then do you need to confer the right to me? That I am having the right to live, therefore I live. Or is it that I am living? You do not need to confer that right to me. I am having right. I am living, and you just need to ensure. You just need to ensure that my life is not your pardon. जिंदा तो मैं हूँ ही पहले से. आपको बस स्टेट को ये एनश्योर करना है कि मेरी जान को कोई खतरा ना हो जोखिम ना हो अब जैसे हम फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन की बात करें तो उसको तो आप कन्फर करोगे रेस्ट्रिक्ट करोगे आई हैव द राइट ऑफ फ्रीडम स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन देन यू विल ग्रांट मी दैट पावर एंड देन यू कैन रेस्ट्रिक्ट दैट बट लाइफ एक ऐसी चीज है जैसे फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन में बोलना चाहूं तो बोलू नहीं बोलना चाहूं तो नहीं बोलू सो फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन में You have, you can speak, or if you want, you remain silent. लेकिन लाइफ में ये चीज नहीं है लाइफ में अगर आप जिंदा हो तो जिंदा रहना पड़ेगा मीन्स यू आर अलाइव नो वन इज कन्फरिंग द राइट टू लिव टू यू यू आर अलाइव बिकॉज यू आर ह्यूमन बींग यू आर एग्जिस्टिंग एंड देयर फॉर वी आर ऑल अलाइव यहाँ पर यू नॉट लुक इट एज इफ आई हैव ए राइट टू लिव I am living per se. I am living, therefore per se I am continue living. You confer that right to me, then I am living. ऐसा नहीं है अगर आप right to life मुझे कन्फर ना नहीं भी करोगे तो मैं अगर हूं तो रहूंगा ना If I am alive, I live. You cannot confer that right to live upon me. Therefore, the word right they are not using in the term. No person can be deprived or shall be deprived with his life or personal liberty. I am a human being in existence. I have continued to live, and I have my basic personal liberty, which you cannot take away. Personal liberty to move from one place to another. Personal liberty that my hands, legs, etc. should be free, so that I am free to 
from one place to another i am fru free to go from one place to some other place go from one country to some other country all this is my personal liberty which you cannot curtail so pehla to point hai why are they not using the word right to life kyunki iski zarurat nahi thi because yahan par right to life i live not because you are conferring that right to me rather i live per se because i am alive it is you who has to be restricted you cannot take away my right to life you cannot take away my life and personal liberty neither you not other individuals so that is why they are not using the word right isme aapke mein ek topic isi mein hai right to die do you have a right to die under right to life जो राइट टू डाई डिस्कस करेंगे तो ये पूरा डिस्कशन वहां पर काम आएगा उसी का बैकग्राउंड है ये उसमें ज्ञान गौर वाला पीरथिन पीरथिनम केस अरुणा सोनबॉब केस जिसमें पैसे वैथोनेशिया की बात की गई है देन एक कॉमन कॉज ए रजिस्टर्ड सोसाइटी वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट का जजमेंट है डिलीवर्ड बाई दीपक मिश्रा चीफ सी जी आई सो ऑल दीज है इन दिस सो राइट डाउन In Article 21, the word "right" not has been used. Yeah, sir. The word "right" has not been used. The reason is that life or personal liberty is not something which needs to be conferred by the state. Rather, the fact that the person lives per se. will include in itself rather the fact that the person lives per se will include in itself his right to continue living and his right to personal liberty will include in itself his right to continue living and his right to personal liberty the state need not confer that right separately to him matlab ye zaruri nahi hai state aapko wo right dega tabhi aapke paas wo right hoga nahi bhi dega state tab bhi aapke paas wo right hai therefore right likhne ki zarurat hi nahi thi seedha hame you shall not be deprived of your life or personal liberty ye likh diya if you read this article again no person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to procedure established by law ab yahan par ek baat humne jo discuss ki thi usme ek point reh gaya usko add kar lijiyega wo jo topic due process tha usko jab discuss kiya tha except according to procedure established by law to yahan par procedure ka reasonable hona zaruri hai is it also required the law has to be reasonable at this point in meethu versus state of punjab 1983 supreme court isme supreme court ne kaha tha not only the procedure even the law has to be reasonable that is the case in which the section 303 of ipc declared unconstitutional meethu versus state of punjab mithu versus state of punjab that is 1983 supreme court it was held that not only the procedure rather the law also has to be reasonable fair and just in this case section 303 of ipc declared to be unconstitutional so jo due process pe aaye koi question to usi mein last paragraph likh sakte ho ki in india it is not only about fairness of procedure a step ahead of that it is also about fairness and reasonableness of law jo humne topic padha tha new concept of equality wahan par ek sentence padha tha humne it is not only in article 14 the same development has been taken place in all articles in 21 also matlab kya tha law agar hai wo article 14 se connected ho 21 se 19 se kisi bhi article se ho law agar hai to law ka reasonable hona constitutional spirit mein hona logon ka welfare usme hona that is all that is essential 
earlier we do not used to question the parliamentary wisdom but now after the case of nand bharti judgment we are even questioning the parliamentary wisdom ke aap constitutional ke spirit mein law bana rahe ho ya nahi to agar aapka law unreasonable hai law arbitrary power deta hai law mein spirit of the constitution further nahi hoga then the law itself declared to be unconstitutional न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इक्वालिटी में इतना समझा था तो सेम थिंग विल अप्लाई टू आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन ऑल्सो सेम थिंग अप्लाई विद आर्टिकल नाइनटीन और एनी अदर आर्टिकल ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एनी लॉ विच ग्रांड आर्बिट्रेरी पावर्स अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एनी लॉ विच ग्रांड अनरीजनेबल पावर्स और विच प्रोवाइड फॉर समथिंग विच इज अनफेयर और अनजस्ट द लॉ विल बी अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एनी लॉ विच इज इन कीपिंग विद द स्प्रिट of the constitution will be valid and constitutional so law ko bhi hum check karenge plus obviously us law mein jo procedure hai usko bhi check karenge now coming back to the point of life or personal liberty ab inhone word life likha hai they have written the word life they have written personal liberty but they are not writing right to life why they have done so we have seen it because this is not the right which is conferred by you and therefore you are exercising the fact that you exist you are alive per se gives you the right to continue right to continue to live and right to continue to exercise your personal liberty it is not something which the state confers and therefore they are not using the word right as such ab life hai to isi ko hum रिलेट करेंगे राइट टू डाई को राइट डाउन ए क्वेश्चन इज राइट टू डाई इज ऑल्सो ए फंडामेंटल राइट अंडर आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन द आंसर इज नो फॉर दिस सुप्रीम कोर्ट से राइट टू डाई इज नॉट ए फंडामेंटल राइट राइट डाउन ए केस पी रथीनम वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर सुप्रीम कोर्ट इट वॉज हेल्ड दैट राइट टू डाई इज ए फंडामेंटल राइट right to die is a fundamental right and therefore 309 of ipc is unconstitutional or ultra wise now what are the grounds we would see on which it was held fir later on gyan kaur mein isi ko overrule kiya gaya then it is upheld in aruna ramchandra sagban case it was upheld or followed in aruna case aruna sagban case that right to die is not a fundamental right plus they have talk about the euthanasia so write down court held if a person have right to do something then he has also right also he has also the right not to do it thus if a person have right to speech and expression he also has right to remain silent as held in bijoy manual versus state of kerala 1986 supreme court this was the first point in the bijoy manual it was held if you have the right to speech and expression then you also have the right to remain silent to wahan par kaha ki agar aapko right to speech and expression hai to right to remain silent bhi hai aage dekho similarly if one has right to live he also have right not to live means right to die agar aapke paas jinda rehne ka right hai to mar jaane ka right bhi usi mein hai now write down the second point in this it was also held that there is need to humanize ipc that is section 309 commit to suicide section 309 is unconstitutional as a person who attempts to commit suicide was in himself under immense mental trauma and punishing him in punishing him in for a failed attempt would in itself would be inhuman barbaric unjust and arbitrary तो इसमें जो कंटेंशन ली गई थी एक व्यक्ति जो परेशान है इस वजह से सुसाइड करने की कोशिश कर रहा है ही वेंट टू द एक्सटेंट ऑफ किलिंग हिमसेल्फ 
एंड ही फेल्ड इन टू द किलिंग हिमसेल्फ एंड नाउ यू पनिशिंग हिम सो ऊपर से और एक पनिशमेंट डाल दो उसके ऊपर तो वो मर भी नहीं सकता जिंदा भी रहेगा और मेंटल मेंटल ट्रॉमा भी झेलेगा सो दैट वॉज आर्ग्यूमेंट इन दिस केस सो यू नीड टू ट्रीट दैट मैन विद ह्यूमैनिस्टिक अप्रोच पनिशिंग हिम इज नॉट द सजेशन एंड देयर फॉर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हेल्ड दैट द थ्री जीरो नाइन इज अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अब एक और केस लिखिए आप लेटर ऑन ज्ञान ज्ञान कौर वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ पंजाब 1996 सुप्रीम कोर्ट इट इज फाइव जजेस बेंच जजमेंट डिलीवर्ड बाय जी एस वर्मा जस्टिस इन दिस केस क्वेश्चन वॉज अगर सेक्शन 309 जीरो नाइन आईपीसी का अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल है अगर अटेम्प्टिंग टू सुसाइड इज अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल तो अबेटमेंट टू डू सुसाइड इज ऑल्सो बी अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल वो भी अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल होना चाहिए इफ 309 जीरो नाइन इज अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल देन थ्री जीरो फाइव थ्री जीरो सिक्स शुड ऑल्सो बी अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मीन्स इफ आई हैव द राइट टू किल माई सेल्फ देन इफ समन हु अबेट्स मी टू किल माई सेल्फ देन वाई शुड ही बी पनिश्ड अगर आप कहते हो कि आई हैव राइट टू डाई देन इफ समन इंस्टिगेट्स मी टू एक्सरसाइज दैट राइट वाई शुड ही बी पनिश्ड 306 जीरो सिक्स आई पी सी पनिशेज ए पर्सन फॉर अवेटमेंट टू सुसाइड थ्री जीरो फाइव थ्री जीरो सिक्स पनिशेज ए पर्सन फॉर द अवेटमेंट ऑफ सुसाइड इफ ए पर्सन अवेट सम वन टू किल हिमसेल्फ देन दैट पर्सन विल बी लाइबल फॉर थ्री जीरो सिक्स एंड इफ ही फेल्स द पर्सन हु इज डूइंग सुसाइड इफ ही फेल्स इन डूइंग सुसाइड ही विल बी लाइबल अंडर थ्री जीरो नाइन तो अगर सुसाइड करना कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल है अलाउड है इन द फंडामेंटल राइट देन इफ एनी वन इंस्टिगेट यू टू कमिट सुसाइड देन ही शुड नॉट बी लाइबल फॉर एनी ऑफेंस सो द क्वेश्चन बिफोर द कोर्ट वॉज इफ सेक्शन थ्री जीरो नाइन इज अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल देन सेक्शन थ्री जीरो सिक्स विच पनिशेज द पर्सन फॉर अवेटमेंट टू सुसाइड शुड ऑल्सो बी अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल इन दिस द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ओवर रूल्ड द पी रथीनाम जजमेंट एंड हेल्ड दैट Section 309 is constitutional, and you do not have right to die. Sit down this. The Supreme Court overruled the P. R. T. Ram judgment and held that right to die is not fundamental right, and Section 309 is not unconstitutional. The Supreme Court ne isme logic diya hai that you need to understand. जब जो पहला पॉइंट था आपका जैसे 191 ए में आपके पास फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन है देन यू आल्सो हैव द नेगेटिव ऑफ दैट दैट इज राइट टू रिमेन साइलेंट उसी लॉजिक के साथ व्हेन यू हैव राइट टू लिव देन यू आल्सो हैव राइट टू डाई देन सुप्रीम कोर्ट एक्सप्लेन दिस पॉइंट एंड डिस्टिंग बिटवीन नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने 19 और 21 को डिफ्रेंसिएट किया एंड इन डिफ्रेंसिएटिंग 19 एंड 21 कोर्ट हेल्ड दैट इन 19 दे आर कंफरिंग दैट राइट टू यू राइट टू फॉर्म एसोसिएशन राइट टू डू ट्रेड बिजनेस एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा राइट टू फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन दैट राइट आर कन्फर्ड अपॉन एन इंडिविजुअल Freedom of speech and expression conferred upon an individual, and you have to do some positive act in order to exercise that right. क्योंकि normally तो human being चुप रहेगा जब उसको right to freedom of speech and expression है तो एक वो positive act करेगा क्या बोलने का express करने का So when you want, you remain silent, and when you want, you can. speak and that right has been conferred by upon him by article 191a the right to speech and expression has been conferred upon him by article 191a 21 ke liye the court held ki 21 mein aapko right to life right to live confer nahi kar rahe 19 se compare karo right to life ko speech and expression se confer compare karo right to life ko लाइफ तो आपका हमेशा रहेगा इफ यू आर अलाइव राइट इज ऑलवेज विद देयर विद यू 
it is not there that you are positively exercising your right to live i am there i am breathing and therefore my right to life is there i am not positively exercising my right to live because it is conferred to me or upon me jabki 191 a mein the freedom of speech and expression is conferred upon me and therefore i positively exercise that right jabki life mein i am there and therefore that right automatically is there with me and it is not because the state has conferred and it is not because i am positively exercising my right positively therefore i am living i am alive means i am alive and therefore the right to life is there with me to jis logic par unhone kaha tha ki aap bol sakte ho to aap chup bhi reh sakte ho isliye aap agar jee sakte ho to aap mar bhi sakte ho that logic does not apply here बिकॉज बिजॉय एनुअल में जो लिखा गया है कहा गया है दैट यू आर हैविंग द राइट टू स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन देन यू हैव द राइट टू रिमेन साइलेंट सो दे आर द लॉजिक वॉज दैट द स्टेट हैज कन्फर्ड टू यू कन्फर्ड अपॉन यू द राइट टू स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन सो यू मे एक्सरसाइज दैट राइट बाई स्पीकिंग और यू मे रिमेन साइलेंट एंड यू मे नॉट एक्सरसाइज दैट राइट but here in 21 they are not conferring the right to live upon you you live because you are in already in existence and therefore that logic since you speak you can remain silent so that logic since you live you can die that logic remaining silent cannot be compared with the dying dying may you have to do something positive to die jabki remain silent may you have just refrain from speaking and therefore that logic of emmanuel case will not apply upon article 21 so write down write down uh, section 309 is not unconstitutional it means it is constitutional 309 is constitutional so 3 ipc 306 also constitutional that is it is also not unconstitutional in the, right for the article 21 does not confer the right to live as such rather it simply declares the existence of the right to life and prohibits any deprivation of the same in article 19 1 sub clause a a person positively exercise his right to freedom of speech and expression and therefore he may refrain from doing so and may remain silent on the other hand in article 21 it is not a positive exercise of his right as such as such rather he has a right to live per se because he is in existence and therefore the analogy a n a l o g y analogy of article 19 clause 1 would not work here he cannot simply refrain from living as he can refrain from speaking as he refrain from speaking rather he will have to do the positive act or omission in order to kill himself which should not be permissible which should not be should not be permissible means he should not be allowed to kill himself so ye 19 wale nlg par court ne kahi thi is pe to zyada kuch nahi kaha dusri baat court in this the second thing with the what the court held is us pe kaha court ne that court held that the fundamental rights have the larger purpose and you cannot see the fundamental right only with the perspective of that individual for example i have a fundamental right i can refrain myself from having the fundamental right i can refrain from exercise that fundamental right or i can do exercise that negative aspect of the aspect of the fundamental right fundamental rights if conferred upon the individuals then the fundamental rights are conferred upon all and that is having a binding effect upon the society
इफ वन इंडिविजुअल डज नॉट स्पीक नाइनटीन वन ई में देन दैट विल नॉट हैव द इफेक्ट अपॉन द सोसाइटी एज सच बिकॉज ही इज नॉट स्पीकिंग बट इफ वन इंडिविजुअल किल्स हिमसेल्फ बाय सेइंग दैट आई हैव राइट टू डाई देन दैट विल क्रिएट ए काइंड ऑफ अलार्म इन टू द सोसाइटी एंड दैट विल वर्क एज ए सोसाइटल बॉम means that tendency to commit suicide that will be there with others also because if a person is allowed to kill himself as a matter of right then the persons of any kind on the face of such problems will start committing suicides because they know that if i kill myself i will not be punished and that is where that societal bomb court ne bola ki that societal bomb start taking aur suicide ko hum agar legalize kar de to indian society mein the kind of sufferings and problems the people have that will result into massive suicide tendency and suicide committed by the people that will not be good for the society फंडामेंटल राइट right आपका सिर्फ इंडिविजुअल राइट right नहीं है इसका लार्जर सोशल इम्प्लीकेशन भी है खास करके राइट टू लाइफ जैसे फंडामेंटल राइट अगर उसका नेगेटिव एस्पेक्ट राइट टू डाई आप अगर एक्सरसाइज करने लग जाओ देन दैट विल रिजल्ट इन टू द सोसाइटी द अदर पीपल इमिटेटिंग यू एंड सिंस इट इज ए मैटर ऑफ राइट फॉर यू द पीपल स्टार्ट इमिटेटिंग यू and that will result into a chaos in the society any kind of people having slightest trouble will go for committing suicide because he knows that agar main bach bhi gaya to mujhe koi nuksan nahi hone wala hai there is no punitive there is no punishment for me for committing attempt to commit suicide so that is somewhere suicide being legalized एंड दैट विल नॉट वर्क फॉर द सोसाइटी एज सच उस पॉइंट पर कोर्ट ने कहा है दैट राइट टू डाई शुड नॉट बी अ फंडामेंटल राइट राइट डाउन इट वॉज ऑल्सो हेल्ड दैट द फंडामेंटल राइट डू हैव ए लार्जर सोसाइटल पर्पज एज वेल इट बाइंड द सोसाइटी इफ ए पर्सन इज अलाउड टू किल हिमसेल्फ एज मैटर ऑफ राइट it will result into creating the societal societal alarm and will shake the societal conscience giving rise to societal instability means affecting the con- societal conscience and resulting into instability in the society right now the court also held that this will result into setting the societal bomb in the society resulting into chaos loss of stability hoga to chaos hoga c h a o s chaos into society chaos in the society moreover by removing section 309 the deterrent effect of section 309 will also be lost removing section 309 the deterrent effect of section 309 will also be lost so a 309 ka ek deterrent effect to hai ki log suicidal act karne se pehle sochte hain agar right to die allow kar denge to koi bhi log jaise rally wagaira hoti hain usme public ke samne kerosene oil dalega aur aag laga lega agar bach gaya agar to usko koi punishment nahi milega so he does not have any fear agar mujhe rok liya gaya bacha liya gaya to mujhe koi punishment nahi hoga to punishment ka fear usko nahi hoga because 3 f 309 is unconstitutional so that will result into these kind of activities increasing and that will result into societal concern being affected suffering ke baad suicide karna is one thing aur chhoti chhoti baat ho ke par suicide karna is another thing पॉलिटिकल बेनिफिट्स के लिए सुसाइड करना या धमकी देना दैट इज अदर थिंग सो यू कैन नॉट से इफ ए पर्सन इज सफरिंग वो अगर बच गया और सुसाइड करना चाह रहा है बच गया तो उसको और पनिश कर रहे हो हर केस में ऐसा नहीं होगा जैसे आपको कोई ब्लैकमेल करे और बोले कि मैं 
मेरे को ये चीज दो वरना मैं अपने आप को कैरोसिन डाल के आग लगा लूंगा तो मजबूरी में कोई उसको देना पड़े तो थ्री जीरो नहीं नाइन नहीं होगा तो वो बच जाएगा बट अगर थ्री जीरो नाइन होगा तो वो व्यक्ति अगर उसको रोक लेगा सुसाइड करने वाले को तो उसको पता है कि ही वुड बी पनिश्ड जो सुसाइड कर रहा था सो इन दैट वेज यू सी देयर कैन बी मिस यूज ऑफ दिस ऑल्सो एंड दैट इज वाई द कोर्ट हेल्ड द राइट टू सुसाइड शुड नॉट बी अ फंडामेंटल राइट Now write down a case. Aruna Ramchandra, Sonbhav, S H N B A U G, Sonbhav versus Union of India, 2011 Supreme Court. In this case, the issue of right to die obviously there. A right to die में ज्ञान कोर के point को ही Supreme Court ने uphold किया है. उसी को फॉलो किया है सो राइट टू डाई इज नॉट देयर कोर्ट हैज हेल्ड राइट टू डाई इज नॉट देयर ज्ञान कौर वाला पॉइंट हैज बीन फॉलोड बट द अदर इशू वॉज यूथनेशिया यूथनेशिया मीन्स वॉट मर्सी किलिंग दया मृत्यु नाउ द क्वेश्चन वॉज शुड यूथनेशिया अलाउड इन इंडिया इज यूथनेशिया कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल इन इंडिया अब मर्सी किलिंग क्या है फॉर एग्जाम्पल मान लो ये बहुत दुखी है अपनी लाइफ में मटेरियली भी परेशान है मेंटली भी परेशान है बी रोज देखता है उसको और बी सोचता है कि ये जी कर बेचारा क्या करेगा अब ये अपने आप को चाहे मार दे वो अलग बात है अब ये खुद को मार दे हम उसकी बात नहीं कर रहे खुद को मार दे और बच गया तो तीन सौ नौ में जाएगा फिर भी अंदर लेकिन बी उसको रोज देखता है बी इज इन ट्रबल दैट ही शुड बी रिविल्ड ऑफ हिज लाइफ एंड वन डे टेक ए पिस्टल एंड ही सूट्स ए एंड वेन बी प्रोजिक्यूटेड ही सेज दैट आई डो नॉट डू इट फॉर एनी रॉन्ग आई वॉन्टेड हिम टू रिलीव फ्रॉम हिज सफरिंग ऑफ लाइफ एंड देयर फॉर आई किल्ड हिम सो आउट ऑफ मर्सी आउट ऑफ दया आउट ऑफ काइंडनेस आई किल हिम एंड देयर फॉर आई शुड नॉट बी हेल्ड लाइवल यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड That IPC clear कहता है कि if a person killed another with the intention or with the knowledge as extra, then he will be liable for murder or culpable homicide as the case may be. If a person in IPC killed with the intention or knowledge as extra, he will be liable for murder or culpable homicide as the case may be. IPC में कहीं भी ये नहीं कह रहे कि मोटिव अच्छे मोटिव से मारा तो लाइबिलिटी नहीं होगी और बुरे मोटिव से मारा तो लाइबिलिटी नहीं होगी बुरे सॉरी बुरे मोटिव से मारा तो लाइबिलिटी होगी अच्छे मोटिव से मारा तो लाइबिलिटी नहीं होगी सो मेनली वॉट टू बी एग्जाम इंटेंशन और नॉलेज आपने पिस्टल निकाला पॉइंट ब्लैंक एम किया और पॉइंट ब्लैंक से गोली मार दी यहाँ पर यू आर एम ऑन द हेड यू शॉर्ट सो ऑब्वियसली द इंटेंशन टू किल इज देयर एंड देयर फॉर यू विल बी लाइबल फॉर मर्डर पर से द फैक्ट दैट यू हैव किल्ड हिम फॉर सम गुड मोटिव to relieve him from sufferings of life that cannot be there for your defense ipc ke elements prove ho rahe then you will be liable for murder or culpable homicide so in that way you see euthanasia in india is considered in to be an offense even if you kill him him or her for relieving him from sufferings of his life to so, agar aap kisi ko marte bhi ho to re- relieve him from his suffering then also it is an offense for example koi agar vyakti hai bed par hai aur that he or she is suffering such kind of condition aur wo permission de deta hai ki that to remove the life support ki oxygen wagera band kar do mera mirk maar do so in that situation also the euthanasia is not allowed even though the permission is given he would be liable for culpable homicide not of murder but still the liability is there consent tha to exception mein lie kar sakta hai culpable homicide ho jayega but still the liability is there so the question is is the euthanasia is legal in india the answer is no now euthanasia may be there are two kinds of euthanasia one is active euthanasia and other is पैसिव यूथनेशिया अब जनरल रूल ये है एक्टिव केस हो या पैसिव केस हो दोनों में यू आर लाइबल पैसिव में एक पर्टिकुलर केस है 
जहां पर आपको लाइबल नहीं माना जाएगा अदरवाइज एक्टिव हो या पैसे हो इन बोथ दू आर लाइबल पैसे में इन देर इज वन पर्टिकुलर केस अब एक व्यक्ति लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम पर है और बहुत दिनों से है अब उसका लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम अगर आप हटा देते हो पर्सन इज इन लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम फ्रॉम लॉन्ग डेज और इन एक्सट्रीम केयर सपोर्ट मेडिकल मेडिकल एक्सट्रीम मेडिकल केयर सपोर्ट ही इज अलाइव नाउ यू रिमूव दैट मेडिकल केयर यू रिमूव दैट लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम एंड द पर्सन डाइज इन नेचुरल डेथ In those cases, that is in passive euthanasia. In those cases, euthanasia will be allowed, but there will be certain safeguards will be taken care of. Safeguards में सबसे पहले जो family members हैं या care caretaker हैं वो अपना opinion दे कि हम life support system हटाना चाह रहे हैं. फिर उसके बाद doctors का panel होगा जो इसके लिए permission देगा. फिर उसके बाद the matter will be sent to the chief justice of the high court. Then the chief justice of the high court will appoint two sitting judges into the matter. Those two sitting judges will consult the matter with the doctor. Then after the consultation, they may approve or may disapprove. If they approve, if they approved, then only the euthanasia, passive euthanasia, can be given. To that extent, it is permissible. Otherwise, if even out of mercy, किसी और व्यक्ति को मारते हो, you will be liable for. कल्पेबल होमिसाइड और मर्डर एज द केस मे बी सो राइट डाउन इन दिस केस दू वॉज रिलेटेड टू एथोनेशिया दैट इज मर्सी किलिंग इट वॉज हेल्ड दैट इन जनरल एक्टिव यूथनेशिया इज इलीगल एंड इट इज एन ऑफेंस विच मे फॉल इन टू सेक्शन टू नाइनटी नाइन और थ्री हंड्रेड ऑफ आई पी सी दैट इज कल्पेबल होमिसाइड और मर्डर Active euthanasia means the doing of some positive act in order to cause the death of some person out of mercy. Out of mercy means what? Doing of some act out of mercy. Doing of some act, जैसे किसी को poison दे देना, या किसी को छत से उठाकर फेंक देना, किसी को गोली मार देना, and so and so forth, and that is out of mercy. That is active in which You do, do you are doing some act that is shooting, giving poison, etc. That is where it will always amount to an offence. However, it was held that passive euthanasia may not be an offence if certain conditions are fulfilled. पहले आप active euthanasia समझ लो. Active में दो categories होंगे. One is voluntary and other is involuntary. Voluntary means with the consent of the victim suppose the victim himself give the consent that you will kill me and then you give him poison or shoot him etc suppose the victim himself give the consent to kill and you do some positive act to kill him so this will also amount to an offense kyunki agar consent wo 18 saal se bada tha if he was 18 or greater more than or equal to 18 years then in that case if you have read the ipc if it is a case of murder then the exception number 5 will apply and that will amount to culpable homicide not amounting to murder that is ipc kyunki consent tha uska lekin 18 saal se kam ka hai agar 18 saal se kam ka hai you consent de raha hai then it will amount to murder agar 18 saal ya usse zyada ka hai aur sound mind hai और उसने कंसेंट दे रखा है देन इट इज कल्पेबल होमिसाइड नॉट अमाउंटिंग टू मर्डर बट इफ द विक्टिम इज लेस देन 18 देन इट इज मर्डर इवन दो द कंसेंट इज गिवन एंड ही इज साउंड माइंड बेसिकली इट इज अ मैटर ऑफ एक्सेप्शन 5 ऑफ सेक्शन 300 आईपीसी व्हेदर इट इज एप्लीकेबल और नॉट देन इन द केस ऑफ इनवॉलेंट्री किलिंग इनवॉलेंट्री मींस व्हाट द विक्टिम हैज नॉट गिवन द कंसेंट Involuntary means the victim has not given the consent, and without his consent, you have killed him. So it is normally amount to murder, depending upon the nature of act you have done. But normally, it will amount to murder. But in both these cases, be it voluntary or involuntary, you have done a positive act to kill the person. So it will amount to culpable homicide or murder. Voluntary ho, cha involuntary ho. अगर एक्टिव यूथ है नहीं सिया है एक्टिव मीन्स वॉट डूइंग सम पॉजिटिव एक्ट टू किल 
beating, shooting, throwing from the terrace, poisoning, kuwe mein phenk do, nadi mein phenk do, paar se phenk do. So all these things fall in active. Then another kind is passive. पैसे में आप कोई पॉजिटिव एक्ट नहीं करते हो इसको भी दो कैटेगरी में बांटा गया वॉलेंटरली इनवॉलेंटरली इन पैसिव यू डोंट डू एनी पॉजिटिव एक्ट इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ ओमिशन पैसिव मींस एन ओमिशन देयर इज नो पॉजिटिव एक्ट डन अब सपोज विक्टिम इज केप्ट अलाइव ऑन सम मेडिसिंस कुछ मेडिसिन मेडिकेशन देकर उसको जिंदा रखा हुआ है आपने या फिर लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम पर जिंदा रखा हुआ है एंड सपोज द विक्टिम इज इन हिज सेंसेस विक्टिम अपने सेंसेस में है और उसने खुद कहा कि मैं लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम नहीं चाहता हूँ या फिर मैं मेडिसिन सब नहीं लूंगा और उसने खुद मेडिसिन लेना छोड़ दिया या लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम हटा दिया लाइफ सपोर्ट में नॉर्मली वो सेंसेज में नहीं होगा बट वी आर जस्ट विजुलाइजिंग सपोज He is in senses. In that case, he himself has asked you to remove the life support system, or he himself has asked you to give medicines which kept him alive. Then, in that case, it is not illegal. So, write down upon this. In passive euthanasia, there is no positive act done by accused. as such rather it is a case of omission wherein the accused has omitted to do something which may have saved the life of the victim here also it can be voluntarily or involuntarily if it is voluntary that is the victim himself has stopped taking the medicine or has got the life system removed life support system removed life support system removed now let us write life support system removed but you must must understand agar koi life support system mein hai to he must not be in his senses but still visualizing suppose he is in his senses and he has the life support system himself removed then then the causation of death of the victim will not be illegal kyunki apni marzi se usne kiya hai then death of the victim will not be illegal now isme jo main issue hai main issue was passive euthanasia called involuntarily that is the main issue in that case passive euthanasia involuntarily means what victim is not in his senses विक्टिम लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम पर है पर वो होश में नहीं है ही इज इन कोमा एंड देन द इशू इज कि आप उसका लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम या वॉट एवर मेडिकेशन यू आर गिविंग यू वॉन्ट टू स्टॉप और उसमें विक्टिम का कंसेंट नहीं है बिकॉज विक्टिम इज नॉट इन द पोजिशन टू गिव कंसेंट और विद होल्ड द कंसेंट द विक्टिम इज इन कोमा और अदरवाइज द विक्टिम इज इन लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम He is not in his senses. वहां पर अब उसको यू वॉन्ट टू किल हिम बाई रिमूविंग द लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम सो दिस इज नॉट वेयर यू आर डूइंग सम पॉजिटिव एक्ट टू किल हिम इट इज जस्ट एन ओमिशन बाई रिमूविंग दैट सिस्टम और जस्ट स्टॉपिंग टू गिविंग द मेडिसिन और मेडिकल केयर अब इसमें भी यही हुआ था that in this case that lady was raped she was nurse and she was raped then she was hospitalized and she was in coma approximately 25 years se jyada she was in coma in this case and she was supported by the hospital staff and she was kept alive but she was in coma now the relatives of the victim want to withdraw the life support system so that she will die because she was suffering a lot she was not in her senses for so many years the hospital staff wanted to continue her support and to continue make her live as long as she actually lives kyunki usi hospital ki thi wo aur hospital staff has special care and the issue was that do the family members have the right 
to remove the lights life support system jabki hospital staff chahta hai ki wo usko zinda rakhe in this case the court finally aur wahi par court ne passive involuntarily euthanasia par guidelines diye the so write down the cases where the victim is in not the victim is not in her or his senses and has been kept alive with some medical care or some life support system and without the consent of the said victim the family members or any other the concerned person or any other the concerned person wants to withdraw the life support system in such cases the court held the killing would the killing will not be illegal if following procedure is followed dash first point procedure mein following procedure the family member or any other concerned concerned person a concerned person mein uh, doctors medical staff is tarike ke case mein aa sakta hai any other concerned person with the opinion of the doctor will file an application before the chief justice of high court chief justice chief justice of high court of that state the chief justice will appoint a committee of two sitting the chief justice will appoint a committee of two sitting high court judges sitting high court judges means the judges who are existing at that time committee was made and this committee and this committee will take the opinion of three medical experts of the field and then will make its recommendation as to whether the euthanasia shall be allowed or not if the opinion is positive positive means you can kill then the said euthanasia will not be illegal but if the opinion if opinion is negative then if the victim is killed it will be an offense offense is मर्डर करते हो कल्पेबल होमिसाइड वॉट एवर सो इन दिस डॉक्टर्स का ओपिनियन लेगा हाईकोर्ट कमेटी ओपिनियन विल बी बेसिकली इफ देयर इज एनी पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ सर्वाइवल ऑफ द पर्सन इफ देयर इज एनी पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ द सर्वाइवल ऑफ द पर्सन रिमोटेस्ट पॉसिबिलिटी एंड इफ द डॉक्टर से यस देन द पर्सन कैन नॉट बी किल्ड लेकिन मान लो अगर डॉक्टर से दैट देयर इज नो रिमोट पॉसिबिलिटी देन कैन बी किल्ड अब मान लो तीन डॉक्टर्स हैं और तीनों एक्सपर्ट्स हैं उस फील्ड के इफ दे से देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ सर्वाइवल देन द हाई कोर्ट मे सजेस्ट दैट ही कैन किल्ड अब वहां पर भी इस केस में अगर कमेटी ओपिनियन दे दे कि देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ सर्वाइवल फिर भी अगर वहां कोई है जो उसको जिंदा रखवाना चाहता है जैसे कि हॉस्पिटल अथॉरिटीज इन दिस केस there is someone who is willing to continue with the particular treatment then the court will not appoint to kill jaise is case mein hua tha ab kai cases aise hote hain yahan par koi patient ko hum hospital leke jaate hain and there the patient collapse but ventilator ki wajah se kuch ventilator par rakha jata hai usko uski breathing chalti rehti hai otherwise uh, so he died so within 15 14 days ultimately in certain cases jin pe paise hote hain wo apne aap collapse ho jata hai and died but in situation we are kisi ke private hospital mein leke gaye aur usko ventilator pe paise ventilator ke liye paise nahi hai daily ke jo expenses hain kharch karne ke liye and in that situation if the doctor said that ki there is nothing remained in the patient he will going to collapse within 20 or 15 days or 
वहां पर अगर पेशेंट के जो हैं गार्जियंस वगैरह नहीं अफोर्ड कर सकते उस प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल के खर्चे को एंड दे आज टू विद्रॉ द वेंटिलेटर सपोर्ट और उसकी वजह से वो कोलेप्स हो जाता है देन वेदर दे वुड बी लाइबल इन दैट केस बिकॉज दे डो नॉट हैव द मनी विल दे वुड बी लाइबल दे डो नॉट हैव मनी और दे आर नॉट विलिंग टू विल दे बी लाइबल फॉर कल्पे बल होमिसाइड और मर्डर द आंसर इज नो अगर यहाँ पर आपने हाई कोर्ट का ओपिनियन नहीं भी लिया है बिकॉज ऑफ द पेशेंट डिक्लेयर टू बी ब्रेन डेड ब्रेन डेड मीन्स देयर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एट ऑल टू रिकवर वैसे केसेज में नॉर्मली द लो इज नॉट हार्स लेकिन मान लो द पर्सन इज इन कोमा सांस ले रहा है सब कुछ नॉर्मल है लेकिन सेंसेज में नहीं है फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम अब आप चाहते हो कि मैं उसका मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट हटा दू उसको घर ले जाऊ एक्चुअली नॉट टू किल दर्सन बिकॉज पर्सन इज अलाइव एंड कंटिन्यू टू कंटिन्यू टू लिव देन यू वॉन्टेड टू किल दर्सन बाई रिमूविंग द मेडिकल सपोर्ट अब जो पहले एग्जाम्पल दिया था दैट इज नॉट किलिंग बट हेयर इट इज ए केस ऑफ किलिंग बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू रिमूव ऑल मेडिकल सपोर्ट सो दैट ही डाइज पीसफुली सो देयर वी हैव टू टेक द ओपिनियन ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट सो वी हैव सीन कि पैसे विथ एनसिया में अगर खुद लाइफ सपोर्ट अगर इन कंसर्नस माइंड में है खुद लाइफ सपोर्ट जो व्यक्ति में विड्रॉ करना चाहता है कर सकता है दैट इज नॉट इलीगल और इन वॉलेंटरली विथ एनसिया This may not in concerns that also we are seeing. अब कोई ऐसी सिचुएशन आई जिसमें विक्टिम को पता है कि दैट इज कंडीशन इज वेरी क्रिटिकल एंड इन फ्यूचर द पेशेंट कुड बी गो इन कोमा एंड बाई बिफोर दैट द पेशेंट राइट डाउन ए लिविंग विल दैट इन फ्यूचर इफ द सिचुएशन इज दैट क्रिटिकल the life support should be withdrawn whether that would be allowed or not so write down the latest case common cause a registered society versus union of india 2018 supreme court case in this case in the view of con- the right to die with dignity as a fundamental right has been already been declared by the constitution bench judgment of this court in gyan court case retreated so that was gyan gyan kaur ke iska jo judgment tha wo aap held ho gaya then ye bhi aap held ho gaya jo mental capacity take informed decision has a right to refuse medical treatment ye bhi aap held ho gaya isme in this case the new point and third point is a person of competent mental faculty is entitled to execute an advanced medical directive in accordance with the safeguards as referred to above for as referred to above means to refuse the medical treatment including withdrawal of life saving devices so for that a person is if he is competent mental competent mentally and competent also that above eating an advanced medical directive is in accordance with safeguard then he can make his living will whether the life support should be withdrawn in that situation or not so this is the advancement in this case and this is the five judges bench constitutional bench so in article 21 we have seen that the fundamental rights are not mutually exclusive then we also saw that ye state ko lagega ki private individuals ko lagega then also saw that the language is negative that is language is prohibitive restrictive then we also saw the procedure procedure established by law that is a reasonable procedure that is just fair reasonable arbitrary non arbitrary then point of due process that we also have discussed then we talked about right to die now the next is we are getting the word life and the word personal liberty now interpreting these words in their actual perspective we can always expand these words you understand expand these words means what there are so many things which are implicit under the word life and similarly there are so many things which will be found 
under the word implicited under personal liberty so there are several implied fundamental rights there are several implied fundamental rights which are found to be implicit in these two words in article 21 the supreme court timely has been added the fundamental rights as and when the case coming in front case come before it and has been interpreting these words in the liberal sense and has been reading many fundamental rights to be implied under article 21 so those implied fundamental rights you need to have a list so that list you can make from any books like jay and pandey so usme case ka naam so write down a sentence upon implied fundamental rights article 21 protects the right to life and personal liberty and these terms have to be given the widest possible interpretation to make the life right to life and personal liberty meaningful and effective the word life and personal liberty has to be interpreted in the light of the larger goals of the constitution the dpsp and also the purpose of upholding the dignity of an individual in the light of the larger goals of the constitution and larger goals are the dpsp and also the purpose of upholding the dignity of an individual life in itself will include dignified life and not a mere vegetative life vegetative life means what phool patti aur sabjiyon ki tarah saans lena ped padon ki kyunki saans to wo bhi lete hain means the life should not be like uh, they are live and dead there is no charm in the life nothing aims or want to achievement or achieve something like that so that kind of life cannot be guaranteed by the constitution sirf jinda rehne ka adhikar there are so many things which are going along with your life for example life agar hai to education jab tak aap educated nahi ho gaye you cannot understand the real essence of life usi tarike se life agar hai to medical treatment लाइफ अगर है तो गुड हेल्थ और गुड हेल्थ के लिए पॉल्यूशन फ्री एनवायरनमेंट सो दीज आर द डायमेंशंस इन सब पर आपको केसेस मिलेंगे सिमिलरली लाइफ अगर है तो सेफ्टी एंड सिक्योरिटी लाइफ अगर है राइट टू लाइवलीहुड राइट टू अर्न बी राइट टू डू सम प्रोफेशन और बिजनेस देन राइट टू शेल्टर राइट टू प्राइवेसी फूड राइट टू फूड राइट अगेंस्ट एक्सप्लाइटेशन so on on all of these you will find the supreme court judgments you see the word life in itself to be given a real meaning and life should be should include anything and everything which goes along with the word life to make your life dignified life ko agar hum noun mante hain to ye sare jitne bhi words hain they are adjective for example food shelter life could not be a dignified life if you are not having food right to food or shelter unless you are guaranteed food shelter right to social justice वैसे तो आर्टिकल 14 में पढ़ते हो बट सोशल जस्टिस भी आपका राइट टू डिग्निफाइड लाइफ का ही पार्ट है यू आर बिलोंग टू अ पर्टिकुलर कास्ट देयरफॉर यू आर सरप्राइज्ड सो दैट इज अगेंस्ट योर डिग्निफाइड लाइफ सो राइट टू बी रेड इक्वल टू द अदर्स एंड सोशल जस्टिस शैल बी डन टू यू so that is also a fundamental right which makes your life dignified you talk about a woman right against sexual harassment so wo bhi aapka dignified life ka ek part hai so in that way you will find so many things fall under the word life you talk about right against torture and inhuman treatment of general people and particularly of prisoners in the sunil batra case they have talked Uh, talked about this the right of inhuman treatment and torture even if you are a prisoner right to dignified life good food even if you are prisoner jail mein bhi to aapko khana acha milna chahiye jail mein bhi aapki basic dignity ko to koi violate nahi kar sakta these are all what these are all related to your life so isi prakar se agar sochoge to kafi sari cheez aayengi isme ban on is ban on smoking in public places so that is what that is to prevent the passive passive smoking and that is that is basically related to your health kisi ka accident ho jaye aur usko hospital le jaye aur doctor 
कहें जब तक जब तक एफ आई आर नहीं होगा मैं ट्रीटमेंट नहीं करूँगा फॉर दैट वी हैव सुप्रीम कोर्ट केस आई थिंक दैट इज परमानेंट कटारा इन विच द सुप्रीम कोर्ट से कि अगर आप किसी भी डॉक्टर के पास जाओगे और मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट जरूरी है देन यू मस्ट फर्स्ट गिव द मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट एंड देन ओनली द एफ आई आर एंड ऑल अदर फॉर्मेलिटीज वुड बी डन द फर्स्ट एड द एंटायर फर्स्ट एड वॉट एवर रिक्वायर्ड टू सेव इज लाइफ दैट हैज टू बी गिवन फर्स्ट अब मान लीजिए अगर बहुत एक्सपेंसिव ट्रीटमेंट है फॉर ट्रीटमेंट के लिए दैट इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग बट एनी थिंग विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू सेव इज लाइफ for the first instance the treatment has to be given to him so these are the things which are related to your right to life similarly there are so many things which may fall under this category similarly religious sentiments are related to dignified life for example uh, place rasi case in which from up high court to supreme court then the case goes and in which the non veg is prohibited in the in that place because it is related to right to life and that that are the religious sentiments so there are there is a particular area or domain mark where the that non veg is not sold out or cannot eat usi prakar se ek case hai chandra rajkumari the girl goes for a beauty contest aur uske jo employers hain they have got the photographs some photographs of the girl and now they are blackmailing her so is it not she is having right against that beauty contest mein the organizer pressurize her to do some kind of exposures in the beauty contest is it not against her dignity un sab ke khilaf uske paas rights hain so in this way you are find so many things implicit in article 21 under the word life so it is basically that they are not creating something new they are just surfacing out things which are implicit kyunki article 21 ek tarah se kuwa hai and you can harness water from it so life is a broad term in which so many things are get involved like right to of a child to get free education that is also implicit in article 21 right of a child up to 14 15 years to get free education द राइट ऑफ विलेजर्स फार्मर्स जो उनकी फसल का नुकसान होता है द राइट ऑफ दीज फार्मर्स बी सपोर्टेड बाई द गवर्नमेंट एंड बेसिक कम्पनसेशन दैट इज अगेन देयर अंडर राइट टू लाइफ दे आर डूइंग एग्रीकल्चर एंड एग्रीकल्चर इज नॉट अ मैटर ऑफ प्राइवेट बिजनेस किसान खेती करता है फसल उगाता है उसको बेचता है उससे पैसे अर्न करता है बट यू कैन नॉट सी दैट इन नेहरू नेहरूअर प्रोस्पेक्टिव that it is his land his agriculture and his crops and it is spoiled because of nature what should we do because that land that agriculture which feeds the whole country together all the farmers and therefore the nation owes to them nation means me and you all of us but we individually cannot do anything or we cannot do much but the government can do the government has all those रिसोर्सेज मटीरियल तो उसी प्रकार से अगर खेती खराब हो जाए तो गरीब लोग तो मारे जाएंगे क्योंकि प्राइस राइज होगा फूड में सो इट इज नॉट द ड्यूटी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट टू रिलीज द स्टॉक्स विच इज रिजर्व बाय द फूड कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया प्लस द गवर्नमेंट ऑलवेज कैन इम्पोर्ट द फूड एंड सेल एट द सब्सिडाइड प्राइस सो ऑल दीज आर द मैटर्स ऑफ द राइट टू लाइफ इन्हीं सभी को सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने डिक्लेयर्ड अंडर राइट टू लाइफ इन वेरियस जजमेंट्स उसी प्रकार से अगर पर्सनल लिबर्टी की बात करें तो इस पर एक छोटा सा पॉइंट यह है कि अमेरिकन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में लिबर्टी लिखा है बट पर्सनल नहीं लिखा है इन इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बाय राइटिंग द वर्ड पर्सनल आर वी नॉट आर वी नॉट रेस्ट्रिक्टिंग द लिबर्टी ऑफ ए पर्सन only to his individual freedom the answer is no even though we are writing the word personal but the word personal liberty has to be given a wide interpretation kyunki personal liberty ka kai log word meaning suggest karte hain your liberty should not be your personal 
liberty should not be harmed that you personally should not be harmed but that is not the case पर्सनल लिबर्टी में एक चीज तो हमेशा होगा कि आई शुड नॉट बी हार्म कि मेरा हाथ पैर सब सलामत होने चाहिए लेकिन सिर्फ उतना मीनिंग नहीं है पर्सनल लिबर्टी का जिस प्रकार से आप लाइफ को एक्सपेंसिव मीनिंग देते हो उसी प्रकार से पर्सनल लिबर्टी हैज टू बी गिवन एक्सपेंसिव एन एक्सपेंसिव मीनिंग पर्सनल लिबर्टी मीन्स द लिबर्टी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर इंडिविजुअल द वर्ड पर्सनल हैज टू बी यूज इन दैट सेंस पर्सनल लिबर्टी वेन टॉक्स अबाउट मी दैट इज माई लिबर्टी वेन टॉक्स अबाउट यू इट इज योर लिबर्टी एंड वेन यू टॉक अबाउट वर्ड लिबर्टी अगेन देर आर सो मैनी थिंग्स लाइक लिबर्टी टू मूव एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जाना लिबर्टी टू ट्रेवल लिबर्टी इन फैक्ट टू ट्रेवल अब्रॉड ऑल्सो ये सब आएगा लिबर्टी में लिबर्टी टू मूव फ्रॉम वन पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया टू एन अदर पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया पर्सनल लिबर्टी टू मूव एनी वेयर एंड डिसाइड एनी वेयर नाइनटीन में भी फॉल करेगा ट्वेंटी वन में भी फॉल करेगा देन द वर्ड लिबर्टी ऑल्सो इंक्लूड द लिबर्टी फ्रॉम कन्फाइनमेंट अब यहीं पर जब हम कन्फाइनमेंट की बात करेंगे तो आ जाएगा दैट इज स्पीडी ट्रायल फ्री लीगल एड उसमें भी आपको कई सारे जजमेंट मिलेंगे खातून जजमेंट इज देयर then state of maharashtra versus manu bhai prag ji vasi 1995 supreme court judgment is there then on free legal aid khatri and others versus state of bihar 1980 supreme court judgment is there now similarly aap convict hue nahi ho aap giraftar karke rakha hai aur trial mein necessary delay ho raha hai trial pura nahi ho raha aapko custody mein rakha hai then is it not your your right that you should not be kept uh, in custody for unreasonable period that is where the speedy trials comes in you are a person you are accused in any case you are being prosecuted and you are poor and you do not have the lawyers is it not that free legal aid have been provided to you अब प्रागजीवासी केस में तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने यहाँ तक लिखा है यहाँ तक कहा था कि ये जो लॉ कॉलेज हैं स्टेट को या किसी भी व्यक्ति को ये लॉ कॉलेज ओपन करने के लिए अननेसरी हिंड्रेंस नहीं क्रिएट करना चाहिए क्योंकि जितने ज्यादा लॉ कॉलेज होंगे उतने ज्यादा लॉयर्स होंगे और जितने ज्यादा लॉयर्स होंगे उतना ज्यादा फ्री लीगल एड होगा और फ्री लीगल एड का मतलब ये नहीं है कि पैसा नहीं मिलेगा that would be provided by nominal payment will be given by the government through the court so more will be the lawyers more will be the justice to the people so basic regulations ka requirement ke baad there should not be unnecessary hurdles in opening the college law colleges so in that way you will see the personal liberty mein free legal aid speedy trial dekha jaye to ye life mein bhi bad life mein bhi fall karenge but directly they will fall under पर्सनल लिबर्टी सो सिमिलरली देर आर डिफरेंट सेवरल केसेज जैसे राइट टू लाइफ एंड ह्यूमन डिग्निटी के लिए फ्रांसिस कोराली मुलिन वर्सेज द यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ दिल्ली चंद्र राजकुमारी इन दिस केस इट वॉज हेल्ड दैट दैट होल्डिंग द ब्यूटी कॉन्टेस्ट ऑफ सीन इन इंटेंटेड टू ब्लैक मेल एक्सेट्रा इज अगेंस्ट द डिग्निटी ऑफ वुमेन and therefore the violating of article 21 usi tarike se dk yadav is there then all gatelis is there sodan singh is there they are all on livelihood then on the right to shelter chameli singh is there on the right to shelter then on right to health permanent katara is there then consumer education and research center versus union of india that is upon good health and pollution free environment usi tarike se well or citizen forum for environment एम सी मेहता वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया इज दैट इज फॉर एनवायरमेंट देन एम एच माधवा हाईवा जन राव हॉस्कॉट वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र ये आपका लीगल एड पर है मन्नू भाई प्राग जी वासी वारसी इज ऑन लीगल एड एंड देन स्पीडी ट्रायल एंड देन हुसैन आरा खातून दैट इज ऑल्सो ऑन लीगल एड सॉरी दैट इज ऑन स्पीडी ट्रायल हुसैन आरा खातून इज ऑन स्पीडी ट्रायल वैसे इट इज ऑन बोथ फ्री लीगल एड एंड स्पीडी ट्रायल now write down some of the cases that is murli as devra versus union of india 2002 supreme court 
that is on ban on smoking smoking in public places then write down prem sankar versus delhi administration 1980 supreme court that is for provision against handcuffing then one more bhagwan das versus state of and city of delhi 2011 supreme court judgment delivered by markande kartju justice this case is related to honor killing write down in this case it was held every individual has freedom of conscience and freedom of speech and expression in article 19 clause 1 sub clause a and life and personal liberty in article 21 includes the freedom of choice of marriage of an individual and thus a person has constitutes constitutional freedom to choose has constitutional freedom to choose one's spouse jeevan sathi it is duty of the state to protect and take strict measure against any violation of this right honor killing is not only an offense rather it has larger socio implication also it creates fear in the society and it makes an individual suffer and give up his freedom of choice in marriage because of fear this is unconstitutional so in aap panchayat sudhara in these mein in these kind of cases the punishment was very brutal and uh, the kind of fearing element fear element you create into the society it is outrightly not only a offense it is outrightly unconstitutional and against the societal conscience also so the state has got the extra duty upon it the proactive role the state should play because these are the crimes which are having the larger social implications so this cannot be considered to other crimes jisme punishment de diya kaam khatam because these kind of crimes causing the fear in to the minds of the people suppose if today someone is killed in honor killing then the people who are of like minded and who are mentally independent and they are have want to exercise their right to freedom of choice but due to this fearing element they do not exercise that right so that kind of situation should not be created kyunki ek taraf se supreme court keh rahi hai casteless society banana hai caste ka jo divide hai usko kam karo inter caste marriages karo inter caste marriages promote honi chahiye to supreme court ne ye kai sare cases mein kaha hai lata singh versus state of up is one of the example for that inter caste marriages ko promote karo that is a case of 2006 supreme court and खाप पंचायत ऑनर किलिंग ऑल दिस दीज आर टू अपोजिट थिंग्स माइंड यू खाप पंचायत हमेशा गलत काम नहीं करते दे आर द सोशल फिनोमिना दे आर डूइंग सो मेनी गुड थिंग्स ऑल्सो बट सर्टेन थिंग्स लाइक दिस दे के लैस एक्ट्रा विच इज अगेंस्ट लॉ दैट इज अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल तो इस वजह से खाप पंचायत को खत्म नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि वो कई सारे सही काम भी करते हैं एंड सिंस दैट इज डीप रूटेड साइकोलॉजी ऑनर क्लिंग ऑल दैट सो दैट इज सोशल फिनोमना तो अगर सोशल फिनोमन है तो उसको दूर करने के लिए मेयरली पनिशिंग वुड नॉट बी सफिशियंट द स्टेट हैज टू प्ले ए वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रो एक्टिव रोल टू फिनिश ऑफ दैट सोशल फिनोमना बाई चेंजिंग मे बी द राइट इन द सोसाइटी एंड दैट इज अ टफ टास्क सो स्टेट की ड्यूटी इस मामले में और भी प्रो एक्टिव हो जाती है और भी ज्यादा स्ट्रिक्ट हो जाती है एंड द स्टेट सेल नॉट जस्ट प्ले द रोल दैट सम वन हैज डन रॉन्ग यू पनिश उसी से काम नहीं चलेगा द माइंड सेट ऑफ द सोसाइटी हैज टू बी चेंज देन राइट डाउन ए जजमेंट बुद्ध देव कर्मास्कर ब्रैकेट में थ्री वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल टू थाउजेंड इलेवन सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये भी मारकांडे कार्डजू जी का जस्टिस मारकांडे कार्डजू जजमेंट था This case was related to sex workers. Workers, write down in this. Even a sex worker have the right to dignified life. They also have the right to come out of the profession if they are willing to. 
and a proper rehabilitation they also have the right to education and training so that they can earn a livelihood for themselves in fact this may a email address be the supreme court may that is panel on sex worker at the rate gmail.com there is no space so on this uh, email they ask for the suggestions if anyone is having suggestions for them then you can always write uske baad saath website bhi bana hoga so in this uh, the it was talked about the condition in which they live kind of condition in which they live and there are many ngos working in these areas and law research may be as a kind this kind of areas mein le jaate hain the kind of life they have that is very pathetic food medical care they are all surprised and then even if they choose to continue that profession even if a woman voluntarily continues that profession then also she has right to life and basic dignity of life good food shelter health etc and if one is willing to leave the profession then she has right to come out there should be states proactive role again to make a sex worker come out of the profession the fear they are having that if agar maine ye profession chhod diya then where would i earn work and what would i eat where i would live so there you see kai bar sex workers got pregnant obviously the father are not known in major cases and the child suffers to us bachche ka bhi right so isliye state ki liability banti hai unko a proper livelihood earn karne ke liye jo professional training hota hai wo aap dijiye unko educate kariye so that rehabilitation become easier when they are out of the profession rehabilitation means what unko fir se basana aur unko fir se normal life dena that is rehabilitation so usme government cannot keep on paying them for their life so unko kuch aisa training program hona chahiye jisse wo khud basic cheez learn kar sake aur apni earning khud kar sake now write down another case that is amar singh versus union of india 2011 supreme court this case was on telephone tapping telephone tapping without the permission of concerned authority under the telegraph act is the violation of freedom of speech and expression article 191a and also a violation of right to privacy under article 21 so ye 191a pe bhi ho gaya aur 21 pe bhi hai so that's it for article 21 and for this topic Thank you thank you for watching this lecture